Welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne. Today, we're going to meet the Don at his restaurant. And when the Don says he's going, going to be at his restaurant, I think the Don is going... Whoa! Alright, apparently the Don didn't keep his word. Puccineo is not at his restaurant. The proper way to play this is to die repeatedly, but... I don't really want to. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to find a way through the flames that does not result in Max Payne getting burned to death over and over and over again. It's just not my thing. Ah, office supplies! about this. I'm gonna give it a second. I'm gonna give this a second. Watch out. That's an extra bullet time there just just because. When Janela was burning to get me, the feeling was mutual. He was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. You can use this elevator to actually attack those guys down there, but what for? <laughs> That's the greatest sound in this game. I think that weird sound was rats dying. It's pretty cool. The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. I'm into that. Let's see if I can do this without getting killed horribly. Very nice. Very dignified. Good job, buddy. I try. That doesn't go anywhere. This doesn't go anywhere. No. I see you! Don't run away. What the? I should have just shot him when I had the chance. Oh, he's coming after me. Gonna do that. Oh, I see you. Ah, ah I got shot. Who would have thought? I see you. I didn't see you. But the Ingram is such a great weapon that it didn't make any difference. Nope, no difference at all. Let me just rest here on this staircase. Uh... Vlad had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the Banshee well at the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. Punchinello wanted pain. He'd see the pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no roadmap. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck. And anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. 
no one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderer's hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mugnano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. Max Payne, you really have a thing for poetry. So here we are at the Don's house. Is this the end of the game? Looks like it. Next time on Let's Play Max Payne, Don Buncinello's mansion. Goodbye.